All right, today I'm going to be reacting to Bloom by Beach House. As always, the uncut reaction is going to be on Patreon. You can find that in the description down below. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. Mm. I'm already floating. Mmm. So nostalgic. Ooh. Oh, those chords, man. Those freaking chords. That was a great start. It feels pretty sonically similar to Teen Dream. Very reverby, dreamy, nostalgic, as most of the stuff on Teen Dream was. Yeah, I liked that. I don't really have much to say. Didn't catch many lyrics, but I liked the vocals as well. Pretty angelic vocals in some parts there too. And just really massive in the headphones. Really full sound that I really enjoyed, so... That was really good. I don't know if I'm going to be do much, doing much like analysis in this reaction because I feel like with, with uh, Beach House, there's not much analysis to be done. A lot of it just feels like some just vibey music, I guess. So yeah, we'll see how this reaction goes, but I wouldn't, don't be surprised if there's not much talking or not much analysis. I kind of just want to take it in with as, as few pauses as possible. Really good start though. Really good start. The chords, just the, the harmonies that they come up with is, they're super nostalgic. Igor's theme part two, perhaps. I'm liking the drums again. That's something I liked in Teen Dream as well. Super warm scent. Love that reverby guitar. This part's great. I like the kind of hand drums. There's definitely some some shoegaze elements, I feel like, too. Like, these guitars feel very shoegaze. Even the first track felt kind of shoegaze at points, too. Since. This is very shoegazy. Heavy drums. Woo! Yes. This just feels like driving with the roof down. Somewhere in California. That might be the loudest track that I've heard Beach House do. An insane amount of layers. You had the heavy kind of warm synths. You had some guitar passages in there. Uh, the vocals obviously take up a lot of space in the mix. Just a lot of layers. I feel like it was probably one of the most lush Beach House songs I've heard. Um, like I said, it kind of just felt like, I don't know, driving with the sun or with the roof down, sun coming through in California. It was a good vibe. It was a good vibe. Made me feel good. I liked that one little guitar riff that came in too. 
that was pretty reverby. Uh, they just do a really good job of creating atmosphere. They kind of remind me of like Godspeed You Black Emperor, but if they were like a lot more of a bright sounding band, I guess. I guess this is Godspeed from from heaven, maybe. Obviously, the, the tracks aren't as long. I wouldn't say they're as ambitious, but I think in the way that they build build the track and add layers and how massive the track eventually gets is kind of similar to Godspeed. Pretty, uh, pretty solid track. Two really good ones to start it off. Oh, that synth sounds great. Got some like fuzz too, really textural. Oh! Come up with really catchy choruses too. We've had this like kind of arpeggiating synth the entire track, but it hasn't got boring. Oh yes. Oh. The guitar and that synth are kind of intertwining now. Like no other, you can't be replaced. It's the first lyrics I've got. I really like how that track had like two sections to it the first build, and then it kind of broke down quiet it down a bit and then a second build as well it kept like kept it feeling fresh didn't get stale at all that track yeah just the soundscapes are insane when her vocals come in and i don't know how they make it it's not really reverby it's just kind of breathy and maybe it's just the way she's singing but it feels like there's some sort of i don't know how many layers there are to the vocals it feels like there's a lot um because the vocals just feel absolutely massive they pick up the the sound level a lot when they come in um and i like how that guitar that came in at about halfway through the track kind of intertwined with that arpeggiating synth that they had but then eventually it kind of just took over and i don't, I don't even know if the synth continued after that because you kind of just only heard the guitar after that that was a really cool track though three excellent tracks to start it off so far it does feel better definitely than uh teen dream it feels similar but it feels like they've just took it taken it to the next level and kind of just elevated their production to the next level it feels bigger, it feels more lush, it feels more nostalgic, more bright. Um, it kind of just hits all those ideas a little bit harder. I want to see the guys live, man. That'd be so sick. Oh, man. This build. Got some birds. Hey, kind of sounds like California, like I was saying, driving somewhere in California. All right, that was a cool transition. That wasn't my favorite track, probably my least favorite so far. I don't even really know what it was about it that made it my least favorite. Maybe I just need kind of a, a switch up sonically. I think that was one of my minor complaints I had 
for Teen Dream was that it felt like it kind of just stayed at this this one sound for the entire album, and I was hoping for more switch ups. I'm guessing we are going to get some switch ups in this album. I think that track just wasn't as hard hitting as the previous three. It was still really good though, still really good. I think something that makes Beach House really interesting is the way that the vocals kind of just feel like another synth or another guitar, another instrument in the mix. Um, like with a lot of tracks, you have you can clearly tell the instrumental and the vocals, they feel like they're on two different planes, I guess, if that makes sense. They feel two different, distinctly two different things. But with this, the vocals just feel like part of the instrumental, which is really cool. Probably my least favorite so far, but still still pretty solid. I'm just kind of hoping for a somewhat of a sonic switch up. Oh, I did have other one other minor complaint too. There is, I feel like with every track they've had, I think it's a tambourine that's hitting like this on every track. It's it's been the exact same for every track and it feels a little bit repetitive. It's just a just a just a minor nitpick really. It's not it's not the end of the world. Oh. Oh, yes. This is different enough to where it's interesting. Really distorted. That guitar, heavy. Ooh, drums pick it up. See that tambourine is gone. I like it the drums. so good see that was enough of a switch up to where i feel like it kept me interested the super distorted kind of guitar that started the track off was super interesting sound that sounded amazing it was probably the most interesting vocal performance too because usually with her vocals it's a her right pretty sure usually with her vocals she holds these long notes and it's kind of just this like kind of droney vocal performance about that. She was hitting a lot more notes. There was a lot more stuff going on vocally. And I feel like lyrically too was a lot more dense. I wasn't catching lyrics, but I, I, I could kind of catch them here and then. It felt like a lot more was going on in terms of the lyrics. That was definitely better than the last track. It was enough of a switch up again to keep me interested. Okay, some organ. First time we've heard Oregon, I think. I like the, the drums on this one. Really cool rhythm. They're really good at panning stuff too. Like if everything was panned, mixed like just in the middle, it wouldn't feel nearly as big as it does. Like you got guitars on this ear, you got synths on this ear doing separate stuff. It really helps build the, the soundscape. what that sound is but that kind of fuzzy rhythmic thing is cool oh. here's some like distant claps or something or some stomps maybe that was a cool track wow the whole track kind of built on an organ which I've never, I don't think, heard them use an organ before. Again, that kind of white noise, fuzzy thing. Again, I don't even know what it is. It really adds a lot of texture, though. The rhythm was interesting. The drums were interesting. I'm actually kind of starting to appreciate their sound a lot more. Like, when I heard Teen Dream, I thought that a lot of the songs sounded too similar. 
But now I'm kind of just appreciating the fact that even though a lot of them do sound similar, they all still just sound amazing and they're produced amazingly. So at, at the end of the day, it's not even really like a complaint that they all sound the same. They don't all sound exactly the same. They just sound kind of similar. But like I said, it's not it's not the worst thing because they all, at least the sound that they're, they're going off of is good. The sound feels ex- distinctly theirs. I don't think I've heard a band that sounds like this. Um, they found this sound and they've kind of just ran with it. So yeah, it's enjoyable. Mm, transition. I think they're doing a lot better job on this album too. I can't remember exactly Teen Dream, but I feel like on this one, they're utilizing vocals a lot more, especially like vocal layering and just kind of creating these angelic vocal packages, I guess. Heavy bass. Not a big fan of that, that chorus. This is the first time where the mix actually feels kind of muddy. Yeah, this track isn't really doing it for me. Mm. Yeah, that's probably my least favorite, if I'm being honest. That melody, the dun, 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 dun. I guess that's the chorus. It felt choppy kind of cheesy and it just it wasn't very appealing that melody um and like i said that was the first mix that kind of felt muddy like all the other tracks do a really good job of introducing a lot of layers and adding a lot of layers but the mix still feels i don't know you can still kind of pick out certain parts of it but that one was kind of kind of a mess in terms of the the mix of instruments yeah i mean it's not terrible or anything i just feel like it's not not their best work um Probably my least favorite so far. Don't kill me in the comments, please. It's just my opinion, you know? It's just one white dude's opinion. I don't know how they make her vocals sound so good. Maybe she's just a really good singer. Like, obviously there's reverb on her vocals, but I feel like there's more to that. Like, it's more than just reverb. This track's a little boring too. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. That kind of rhythm guitar is adding a lot. That track really picked up. Like, I was ready to kind of write it off in the first half. It felt kind of boring, but it really picked up at the end there when that, that rhythm kind of guitar came in. I just feel like at the, the first little bit, it was lacking melodies. It just felt like not enough was going on. Um, but like I said, they added that guitar. That kind of, that song kind of saved itself. It was not looking too good for the first, like, minute there, but it definitely picked up. Okay. Interesting sounding piano. I would like to, to hear them incorporate more piano. Out on the sea, we'd be Pretty stripped back. Somebody's child, nobody made you. Mm. That's exactly what this truck needed, man. That guitar! Oh, it's so heavenly. Kinda has like an, almost like an old timey kind of feel to it. It's a really subtle build, but it's, it's working really well. My 
heart, man. Really no drums, really just a kick. But he's so good. That might be my favorite track. Ah, chord changes, man. Look how soft and just how soft that kick is. Ah, now we're by the ocean. I feel like my California vibes were pretty fitting. We had the birds before, now we're, we're by the ocean. Okay, that was a great transition. That was probably my favorite track so far. Like I said, there was really minimal drums. It f I think it was just that kick for most of the track. I loved the inclusion of the piano in there, that heavenly guitar that came in at one point. Really just the build was super subtle, probably the most of a slow burner, I feel like, on this album, but it was really effective. The kind of climax that it reached was really satisfying. Oh, it just felt good, man. It felt good. It felt like I was ascending. Last track here. I don't know what we're what we're about to get, but I mean it's it's probably gonna be great. Okay. Oh, strange, strange melody. That note, very dissonant, but they only hit it once. This track feels shoegazy again, with the reverby guitar. That note is so interesting. That. Paradise. That's probably the the second lyric I've caught in this whole whole reaction. Oh. This is a long track. Okay, we're going somewhere. It's a freaking 17 minute track. What the heck? that bass. Kind of losing her voice there. Oh. Yeah, those symbol cracks. Wow. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This feels like Godspeed, man. Again, it feels like Godspeed from heaven. Let's see where it goes next. Probably the heaviest drums we've had so far. Wait, is it just silence? Wait, I... Uh I don't know why I just made that sound. I think someone said that it's like 10 minutes of silence. Or I'm not gonna... Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna skip ahead a bit. 
Is it just silence? There's gotta be something. There's gotta be. Oh, there is something. Okay. Let me know if I skipped anything through skipping through that part. But I'm not trying to sit through like five minutes of just straight silence. It's an interesting choice. If it was just silence. Whoa. Feels almost like a, a slowed in reverb. Beach house track. This is cool. Why does this feel so sad, man? Like, it's, it's not in a minor key or anything, but... It feels so... so sad. Okay, I think that's the end. <sighs> Interesting choice. Interesting choice to have, like, just a chunk of silence. Maybe I did skip something, but it seems like it was just silence for a couple minutes there in the last track. There's gotta be some more meaning to that. If there is some sort of hidden meaning or some significance to that that silence in there. I mean, the microphones did that with uh, the glow part two. I think there is on the last track, like a couple minutes of silence before like a final little outro. But yeah, interesting, interesting artistic choice, I guess. The first part of that track was really entertaining though. Probably one of my favorite moments of the album with the heavy drums and the cymbal crashes coming in. Definitely probably like the most heavy moment of the record. And even that outro was kind of cool, but like I said, it felt sad. Maybe it was just kind of the the slower tempo of it. The fact that it felt kind of like a, for some reason it felt like kind of like a, not a, maybe like a slowed in reverbed version of a, of a already existing Beach House song. And the vocals just felt really down and kind of weary. Um, even though, like I said, it's not in a minor key or anything. So the, the moments of music we did get on the last track were pretty entertaining and pretty engaging. I just don't really know what that, that silence is meant to be for. So again, let me know down below. Uh, but other than that, really, really good album. There were a couple tracks where I felt like it was a little bit boring and it went on a little bit. And I don't know if it needs to be an hour long, maybe a little bit too long. That's kind of a complaint I had with Teen Dream 2. Even though that was a shorter album, it felt like it got a little bit boring as the album went on, because there's not that much in terms of sonic switch-ups. I feel like this album was a little bit better in terms of that, but still could have been a little bit shorter. In terms of the mixes, I feel like this album was a lot more impressive in terms of like how big the song sounded in the headphones. A lot more lush, a lot more dense, more memorable moments, I feel like, too. I mean, Teen Dream wasn't terrible, but this feels like just a more refined sound ver refined version of their sound again i didn't catch many lyrics at all there's i can probably count on one hand how many lyrics i caught uh so obviously i gotta look into those but again lyrics i feel like with the first album they didn't really they weren't didn't feel that important with this one too they don't feel that important but obviously there is more substance there in the lyrics that adds to the song definitely um i just kind of wanted the music to hit me on this first listen and the music did hit me. It was uh, really, again, nostalgic, melancholy at times, but bright at other times. I really, they have, it feels like they have a really distinct sound. Obviously there's elements of dream pop. Um, there's elements of shoegaze in there. I feel like the shoegaze influence was a lot more apparent on this album. But at the end of the day, it just, I, it feels like really distinctly their sound. And I think it comes down to the melodies and the kind of tempo of all these songs, they kind of have the same feel and tempo. And again, the melodies they choose are all really similar and kind of have that distinct beach house kind of feeling. That kind of, that last track kind of just threw me for a loop because I'm still just kind of confused why that silence is there. Like it's, I feel like it's intentional. Obviously you're not just gonna, I mean, maybe it was just a mistake, but I highly doubt it. I don't know. It's interesting. You guys gotta, you gotta let me know down below once again. I mean, I could do some research obviously, but you guys probably, I mean, I, I got you guys as a reason. You can help me, you know, that's, that's all I, that's all I view you guys as just, you know, all I view you guys is just a way to give me information so I don't have to search it up. So there you go. I'm kidding, obviously, but yeah, let me know down below again, what that, if that silence has any significance and that's going to do it for this video. Beach house, teen dream, pretty solid. Pretty solid.
Peace out.